Hello friends. Our last story this week is on the topic of courage. And if you'll notice in your devotions this week or your Bible time, the stories are all on the theme of courage. So as we're learning about courage together, we're going to read a story today about a man named Jackie Robinson who had to show courage in his own life. And there's a picture on the front. What do you think Jackie Robinson did? That's right, he was a baseball player. The story of Jackie Robinson, the value of courage. Once upon a time, there lived a young boy named Jackie Robinson. Looking at him, you might think he was just an ordinary boy. He walked like his friends, he talked like his friends, he even dressed like his friends. But there was one thing about Jackie that made him very special. Can you guess what it was? There he is with his friends, walking together. They all have smiles on their faces. Jackie could run faster, jump higher, and throw a ball harder than anyone on the block. Hey, Jackie, slow down, his friends shouted. We can't keep up with you. Jackie laughed. This is as slow as I can go, he'd say. Then he would zip over the walls and around the fences, running as if his shoes were on fire. There he is, way ahead of his other friends. But Jackie didn't have much time for play. His family had to work hard. They didn't have a lot of money. And Jackie worked to help his family out. He delivered newspapers after school. And on weekends, Jackie sold hot dogs at the baseball stadium near his home in California. So there he is with his after school job delivering newspapers. Jackie worked hard and sold lots of hot dogs. Of course, he watched the ball games too, when he got a chance. One day, as he watched, Jackie noticed something. It was something he, he had seen before, but he hadn't really thought about it. He looked at the pitcher and the catcher. He looked at the batter and the first baseman. He looked at the dugouts where the other players were sitting. I don't understand it, he said to himself. There aren't any black players on either team. Hey boy, a man shouted. How about one of those hot dogs? Jackie jumped and he hurried back to work. So he was noticing something. And you know we've talked in our class about how God made each one of us different, like flowers in a flower garden. Each flower is pretty in a different way. We all have different things that we're good at. We all have different colors of hair, skin, eyes. Some of us are tall, some of us are short. We're all like beautiful flowers in a flower garden. And if we only had one type of flower in a flower garden, it would be very boring. It's much prettier when there's all different colors and sizes. And that's the kind of creator God is. He wanted his world to be interesting and beautiful. So he created people that are different colors and sizes, are good at different things, so that we can all work together, love each other, and make a beautiful world. Sometimes people do a good job of that, and sometimes they don't. Well, Jackie was noticing that the baseball field looked kind of boring because there was only one color of skin. But he didn't have long to think about it because, remember, he was a hard worker and he went back to his job of selling hot dogs. That evening at supper, Jackie asked Mama, how come people with our skin color don't play on big league baseball teams? Aren't they good enough players? Oh, they play well enough, Jackie, his mother answered, but they aren't allowed to play in the big leagues. Only white men are allowed to play. His brother, Mac, poked Jackie in the ribs. They're afraid our color might rub off on them. 
Everyone but Jackie laughed, but at the same time, they felt a little sad. Jackie was angry. That's not fair! His mother said, no, I don't suppose it is, but you must control your temper. It's one thing to be brave, it's another thing to have courage. Jackie didn't really know what that meant. At least not yet anyways. But he knew how he felt. And there he is with his family, eating supper together, talking about things, teasing each other. Jackie felt angry. If somebody tried to stop me, I'd wrestle him to the ground. Then he wrestled his favorite brother back to the floor to show that he meant it. Jackie's temper always got the better of him when it came to unfairness. But his mother understood. Someday it might change, she said, but not by fighting with your brother. Now finish your dinner because I have a surprise for you. What do you suppose the surprise was? It was a baseball. Oh, it wasn't the kind of baseball that you can buy in a store. It was a rag ball. Jackie's mother had made it out of a wool of woolen socks and a bits of brightly colored cloth. She had tied it up with a bit of string and a lot of love. When Jackie saw that rag ball, he let out a yell that rattled the windows. My own baseball, he shouted happily. I'll keep it as long as I live. It was a treasure because his mother had made it for him and it was a baseball and that was the game that he loved. After that, Jackie played with his rag ball whenever he wasn't working or at school. He came to love the rag ball so much that he even talked to it. He was using his imagination. He threw it high against the brick walls and then he caught it before it could fall back to the ground. Gotcha, he said. And he tossed the ball against the curves and grabbed it as it bounced back to him. Jackie had a lot of fun playing with his rag ball. They were as close as peanut butter and jelly. Sometimes Jackie made believe that he was a big league baseball player. He used to hit his rag ball with a stick and pretend he was hitting a real baseball with a real bat. But one day Jackie hit the rag ball too hard. It flew up, up, up and into the air. And what do you suppose happened then? There he is, practicing his throwing, his pitching, and his hitting. How far did that ball go? The rag ball split apart. Bits and pieces of colored cloth exploded out of it and scattered everywhere. His precious baseball. How do you think that made Jackie feel? Jackie was heartbroken. I've killed it, he wept. But then he thought he heard a strange little voice. Don't cry, Jackie, the voice said. I'm okay. Jackie blinked, and suddenly it seemed to him that his rag ball was back in one piece again, and it was talking to him. My name is Rags, the ball seemed to say. I'd like to be your best friend. Now, do you think that really happened, or was that Jackie's imagination? It's fun to use our imaginations to pretend sometimes. Jackie knew that his rag ball was really in little bits and pieces, and that it couldn't talk to him. And of course he knew that your best friend is yourself, or Jesus, or your friends around you, not a rag ball. When Jackie thought he was listening to rags, he was really listening to his own thoughts. Well, rags, Jesus said, I can't think of a better friend to have. With that, Jackie went home and he pretended that rags went along with him. As Jackie grew up, he liked to think that Rags went everywhere with him. To help him with jobs, when he practiced his favorite sports. When he practiced so much that his whole body ached. He, Jackie knew that when you really want to learn something, some, it's not always easy and you have to work hard. Have courage, Jackie, Rags seemed to say. Nothing can stop you. Remember, that having courage is doing the things that are hard to do, even though you're afraid to do them. So courage is not never being afraid. Courage is when you're afraid to do something, 
that you should do and you do it anyways. So courage is doing the thing that you should do even when you're afraid and working hard at it. Do you remember the Pepper Street Gang? Jackie rem remembered the boys he had known near his home on Pepper Street. Remember how easy it would have been to stay with the gang? If you had stayed, you might now be stealing and, li and lying like some of the others. If you had done what was easy then, you'd probably be in big trouble now. Jackie nodded. It was hard to leave the gang, he admitted. Rags added quickly, it took courage for you to leave, and I'm glad you did. Jackie felt good about his choices. So sometimes we have to have courage in our choices. Sometimes in our friendships, when our friends are not making good choices, maybe we want to be a part of the group and we might be tempted to do the same thing, but it takes courage to do the right thing, even when people around you are making poor choices. It takes courage to work hard when you feel like taking a break, when you're learning something new and it doesn't come easily, to stick at it. When Jackie was older, he went to college at UCLA, the University of California at Los Angeles, where he became a star athlete. And do you think if he had given up when he was younger, practicing, working hard, that that would have happened? See, God gave Jackie Robinson a gift or ability to be a good athlete. But God expected Jackie to develop that gift by working hard at it. Jackie was the first person in the history of the school to win sports award in basketball, football, baseball, and track all in one year. He certainly was a dedicated athlete and a talented athlete. What a great athlete, said the fans who watched Jackie play. One person who always rooted for Jackie was a girl named Rachel. Jackie really liked Rachel. He liked her so much that he asked her to be his girlfriend. So there's Jackie playing all those different sports and the people are watching in amazement. But not everyone cheered for Jackie. Some people tried to bully him because of his skin color. They called him a troublemaker when he got angry and stood up to them. One man was speaking rudely to Jackie. And he said, don't you know I'm a person just like you? I'll say what I want to say, and I'll do what I think is right. Rachel was proud of Jackie when he spoke up this way. And there's Jackie with his friend, Rachel, his girlfriend, and he's telling the people that are being rude and being bullies, I will say what I want to say, and I will do what I think is right. That takes courage to stand up to people sometimes when they are being bullies. But Jackie tried not to worry when people said mean or rude things. He had more serious problems. I'm going to have to quit school, he thought. It's so important. School is so important. But Jackie thought he would have to quit. My mother can't afford to keep me in school, said Jackie. I have to get a job. If you were a terrific athlete like Jackie, what kind of job would you get? Well, I think we will stop there for today, and next week we're going to learn more about courage and read more stories about Jackie Robinson and how he showed courage in his life. And we'll see if he got to continue going to school, if he became a famous athlete, and what he did with his life and the gifts that God gave him. Have a wonderful weekend.